Good day viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kem Easy and I'm Echo Jeremiah. So here's a calculation on the quantitative analysis of tetrachloride sulfate cis acid and um, sodium trials carbonate form. Alright, so if you've not seen the sample 2 and sample 1 question, you can click on the link in the description below. It will lead you directly to the, those questions, alright, and the solutions there. So this is just like a uh, sample question theory you may likely see in your exam. All right, so now let's quickly go into the question. It says A is a solution of 1.71 grams of tetrachloride of acid in 250 cm cube, while BN is a solution containing 6.00 grams per dm cube of an hydrous s carbonate all right so this s is an unknown element we might be asked to look for um put a into the bullet prepare 20 or 25 cm cube of b into the conical flux using methyl orange as the indicator repeat the tetration to obtain concordant tetra values to blade the readings and calculate the average volume of the acid use so if you've seen the titration video our average volume of acid use which is via the average volume of the acid used for this titration is 20.25 cm cube and the VB which is the volume of the basic salt we use which is our S carbonate in this case is 25 cm cube so take note of that all right so now let's go back to the question here it says calculate the concentration of AN in mole per dm cube all right, so one calculate the concentration of A N in mole per dm cube from the question given here. It says A N contains one point seven one grams of sulfuric acid in two hundred and fifty cm cube. All right, so to calculate the concentration, we already have the mass and we have the volume. So we say concentration is equal to amount in mole over volume of solution, all right, in dm cube. So we are looking for the concentration. To get the amount, you use this formula. We say amount. To get the amount is a mole is equal to mass over molar mass. All right. So our mole is equal to mass. What's the mass given to us? The mass given to us is 1.71 grams. And what's the molar mass? That's the molar mass of sulfuric acid. We have it as 98.07 grams per mole. All right, so when you divide these two together, you have 0 0.01744 mole. All right, so we we'll just have to substitute this into the equation. Concentration is equal to the amount is 0 0.01744 mole over the volume. The volume is 250 cm cube, but take note, the volume is in dm cube to convert um cm cube to dm cube we divide with 1000 all right when you divide this with 1000 you have 0 0.250 dm cube all right so dividing this the answer becomes 0 0.0698 mole per dm cube as the concentration of air all right, so we'll go over to the next question, which is calculate the concentration of BN in mole per dm cube. Okay, so we want to calculate the concentration of BN. We already know the concentration of the acid to be 0 0.0698 mole per dm cube. All right, so long as we have the concentration, it's volume, and we know the volume of the basic salt, we can use it to determine its concentration by using this formula um CAVA over CBVB equal to NA over NB. The concentration of the acid C is this. The volume of the acid 
average volume of acid is 20.25 cm cube. The concentration of the base is what we are looking for. The volume of the base, which is the size of the pipette, is 25 cm cube. And Na and uh, Nb is gotten from the balanced chemical equation. Take note, the titration is between sulfuric acid and um, S-carbonate. All right. So to give you um, S of it plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. All right. So the mole ratio is one ratio one. So N A is one, and N B is one. So when you substitute this into the equation, we we'll have C A zero point zero six nine eight mole per dm cube times the volume 20.23 um sorry 25 cm cube over c be what we are looking for times the size of prepared 25 equal to 1 over 1 so when you make c be the subject of formula we have 0 0.0698 moles per dm cube times 20.2 5 cm cube over 25 cm cube okay so if you do this your final answer becomes 0 0.0565 moles per dm cube as the concentration of bn okay so we we'll go back to the next one it says Calculate the molar mass of, of this unknown compound now. We want to calculate the molar mass of this compound now. So, um, you can do this by um, saying concentration in grams per dm cube is equal to the concentration in mole per dm cube times the molar mass all right now from the question we are given the concentration in grams per dm cube it says bn contains 6.00 grams per dm cube of this unknown compound okay so the concentration in grams per dm cube is 6.00 grams per dm cube and the concentration in mole per dm cube we just calculated is 0 0.0565 moles per dm cube times the molar mass which is what we are looking for the molar mass in grams per mole all right so um let the molar mass here be s so we have uh, making the molar mass subject of formula we have that we are dividing both sides by 0, 0.0 Five six five moles per dm cube over zero point zero five six five moles per dm cube. So the molar mass, the molar mass, um, becomes one. If you divide six point zero zero over this, you have one o six one hundred and six grams per mole as the molar mass so we we'll go back to the last question say so what is the value of s now let's look for the value of s to get the value of s we we'll have s 2 co 3 what's the value of s we equate it to the molar mass 106 all right s is unknown so we want to calculate kind of calculate the relative molecular mass and make as the subject of the formula so 2 times s gives us 2s plus the mass of carbon is 12 that is the atomic mass and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 and we are having three atoms of it times 3 equal to 106 all right so we have 2s plus 12 16 times 3 gives you 48 equal to 106 and uh, we have 2s 12 plus 48 gives you 60 equal to 106 
take like terms we have 2s equal to 106 minus 60. When, when you subtract it you have 2s equal to 46. All right, so you divide both sides by 2. You have s equal to two year 1, 2 year you have 23. So you have 23. And this 23 is the mass of sodium. So invariably, um, we know that s is sodium. So the formula becomes Na2CO3. Please do well to like, subscribe, and make necessary contribution or comment to this video. Thanks for watching.